Hey there, folks! Uh, this is gonna be a long ass fucking LP! And the production value, quality, whatever, is gonna be shit! Because you know what? I don't give a fuck with this one. This one's. This is an awesome game, and there's a lot to it. And the, pro the thing is, I don't wanna cut out a bunch of shit along the way, because there's gonna be a lot of traveling and stuff. So, here I have an idea! I. I'm just gonna let people into Skype chat, and uh, we're gonna chat while we're playing Warband. If you don't, if you don't like this sort of thing, if you just want to watch a straight up Warband LP, go elsewhere. Don't care. If you want to listen to two people bullshit while the boring stuff is going on, you've come to the right place. And this set, I have the infamous Jack Saul Jack with me, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be bullshitting along the way, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna start from scratch here. I thought about doing fire and sword, and we kind of talked it over, and it's like, eh, just gonna do warband instead. Okay, <clears throat> welcome adventurer to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, oh fuck that, I don't even, I'm not gonna read that shit. Uh, make your character. Uh, let's see. Pick your random stat boosts. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to be the noble, just so I can have my own damn banner from the get-go. Um, let's see, a street urchin, step tune. Uh, what should I be? So, I'll do a step child. Steep, how do you pronounce that? Is it step or steep? I don't know. Steep child? Um... Oh, step is the S T E P P E. Yeah. Step. Step. Okay. I wasn't sure. Uh, squire, Trubador, University Student. Well, I'll do a squire. Get a little mix going on here. Personal revenge, loss of a loved one, wanderlust, being forced out of your home, lust for money and power. Uh. Wanderlust or lust for money and power. Um, lust for money and power. Okie dokie. Become an adventurer, ride your destiny. Hooray. Let's see, what's, what's my banner's gonna be? Uh, da, 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 da. I kinda like the one there with the blue and green in the tower. And I hear FTL music. That soundtrack is fucking awesome, by the way. <laughs> I. Uh, next time I purchase something else at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and get the soundtrack for FTL. That game is fucking amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can have a bunch of boars as my banner. That'd be good. <laughs> uh, they... Yeah, some of those things just look retarded, though. I wish you could import some. Well, I'm sure there's like a mod where you can do that, but I have no idea how that works. Mm. Uh Let's see. I can have the dancing bear on a purple background. <laughs> I guess that's kind of threatening. Dancing bear on a purple. Yes, it looks like he's standing up. He looks like he's getting right, like he's uh, looks like he's dancing, sort of. <laughs> well, this is interesting. The Federation cruiser comes with an artillery beam that fire does one damage, pierces all shields. That's pretty good. Use that. Yeah. Gotta wait for it, to, it has a long fucking charge up though. Mm. The only problem is the only other thing that comes with is one burst laser. The burst laser is still good with the artillery beam. You have, to, you have to let me know how that works out. Well, I would. The only problem is the first thing this fucker shot was my artillery beam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking automated scout. Uh... And there goes my engines. I'm getting my ass kicked in, like, the first fight. Um, just because I'm feeling particularly silly, I'm going to take the dancing bear on the purple banner. Sa game saving policy be, uh, to stop myself from rage quitting, how about allow me to quit without saving? I don't, <laughs> care, if, I don't care if that's not the traditional mountain bike experience. You can go fuck yourself if you don't like it. Basically. <laughs> Uh, name and stuff. Let's see. It wasn't a bad uh, skill set I picked. Weapon Master. 
Power throw is interesting. I don't know if I'll use throw, though. Three run... I'm glad I picked Stepchild. Stepchild. <laughs> uh, writing three, that's good. Red-headed Stepchild. Beat <laughs> them! I don't have enough agility to have writing three, but apparently hacked or something. That works. Horse archery, that's good. Looting is good. I, I like this set. Uh, leadership three. This is a pretty good set. All right. Uh, gave me shit for crossbows, which we'll simply not do. First fight again, and I'm already on fire. <laughs> no wonder the Federation's getting their ass kicked by a bunch of rebels. <laughs> their ships suck. <laughs> well, they're just prone to catching on fire, one or the other. Something. I mean, at least the fucking Kestrel starts out with missiles. Yeah. Two weapons, at least. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Uh, intelligence. Uh, Wait, hold on. I'm fighting a Federation scout. Really? Yeah, I'm fighting a Federation scout, is and it, I'm I'm part of the fucking Federation. Is it pirates? Because I, 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 I know pirates will use Federation ships. Oh but... yeah, it's got their skull and Cthulhu. Oh okay. Or their Cthulhu and crossbones. Because that kind of threw me off the uh, the other day too. It's like, what the hell is the Federation ship? Um. Okay. I'll start with putting nines and everything once I get enough points. For now, uh, tip to everybody, max out your inventory management whenever you can. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> otherwise you will not have the loot. <laughs> yeah, there is so much shit. You need to make so much money, especially in war, man. It's, it's easier to manage your money in um, Fire and Sword because you get... One, you get more loot. Two, the loot is more valuable. Three, your troops don't cost nearly as much. And, uh... Yeah, looting villages does not affect your honor at all in Fire and Sword. I have looted so many goddamn villages and haven't taken a single hit to my honor. Not that I really care about honor and warband either, but some campaigns do, and I guess it, it... It matters more when you're actually a vassal and stuff like that. Yada yada. I don't know, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna keep loot. If I need to make money, and I don't have... If I have my own town, maybe I'll stop looting, but... Meh. For now... Yeah. Uh, you don't need to think too carefully in the beginning of how to set your skills, because... Especially if you're like me, and you focus a bunch on intelligence. Uh, when, when you level up, you get... one. You get one skill point. If you boost up your intelligence, you get an additional skill point at that level. If you boost up agility, you get an extra five weapon points. Strength, you get an extra hit point. Charisma, you can add one more person to your army. And yeah, and then there's other like skills that affect uh, other stuff too. Iron flesh affects your hit points. Leadership affects how many people you can have. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Hmm. I don't need power draw. I've gotten pretty good with a bow, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use stick with a crossbow. Uh... Yay, click kick killed an intruder. <laughs> Weapon. Mm. No. Uh, let's go with horse archery. Looting. Uh, let's get some, let's get one prisoner management and one engineer. Yeah, that'll work. Which leaves me, leaves me low on hit points, but it should be okay. Okay, oh, I got five more points, but cool. Put it in crossbow. And now a name. What's going to be the name of our mighty hero? Uh, Twaddlecock. I just throw random shit out there. Fuck it. We could make the, the Scottish descendant of Genghis Khan named Angus Khan. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might go with that, actually. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Angus Khan. <laughs> so, somehow, one of the Khans made it over to Scotland or, you know... Oh, nice! Yeah. That artillery beam automatically fires at him. Oh, cool. Does it actually take uh, reactor power? 
And yeah, it takes one one point of power. Still, that's not bad. One power well, actually, for a beam. Actually, let me check. A, a laser. I, oh, I can upgrade it. Ooh. Fifty second cooldown. Forty. Oh, you can you can upgrade it for slow uh, lower cooldown. Okay. Yeah. I normally don't care about how my guy looks. I'm not gonna put too much effort into this. I'm just gonna randomize and then maybe tweak from there. That's already kind of epic, looking. Uh, uh, nah, nah, nah. That's interesting, but no. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh, Make him look like Jamie Heineman. <laughs> I still remember fucking fire and sword. I'm riding around by myself. Next thing, you, oh, it's the Scottish fucking Musketeers and fucking Jamie Heineman from Mythbusters chasing my ass. Fucking Claymore in his hand running after me with his gay little beret on. <laughs> yeah, this, this this guy will work. Yeah, he looks like an Angus Khan. <laughs> Actually, I suppose. Uh, let's see, where's hair color. Well, since he, he's Angus, we got we got to make him a ginger. Wait, we can't make him a ginger. What the fuck? Oh, I can't get a redhead. Damn it! All right, you fine. Should be, you should be able to. Unless it's just it doesn't. I'm getting like browns and stuff. I don't really see a red. That sucks. Oh well, whatever. Wow, I managed to do two quests in the first sector. I mean, once I become Captain Funny Helmet, it's not going to matter anyway. Captain Funny Helmet! 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 <laughs> Remember, kitties, the funnier your helmet, the more in charge you are. Just remember. So, yeah. History has proven the man with the funniest helmet or the most absurd hat always wins. <laughs> now, here's where you choose where you start off. This isn't who you have to side with or anything. Um, I'm kind of wondering who I'm going to side with anyway. Um, I don't care to go with the Serenus Sultanate. Eh? They can fuck off. The Vigors, uh, their hobbies include getting the crap beat out of them. Uh, Swati is pretty good, but they like picking a fight with everybody, which can be good or bad. Probably good in my case because sometimes they're your faction is at war with nobody, and you're just stuck sitting around doing nothing. So if you want to make sure you're always in a fight, go Swati, which I might actually well, do. There was that one time with the Nords when I kept attacking the Vigors, and I wiped out the entire I wiped out the entire kingdom by myself. Walked up to the king, and he was still grumbling with me. <laughs> like, I just took a... I just got you an entire kingdom, asshole. Brr, you attacked them. Now they might attack me. They're wiped out! <laughs> also, the thing about Swanee is, I know who the usurper is. I think... So, uh, apparently, if you side with the usurper for whatever kingdom, uh, once they become king or queen in Swadia's case, uh, they'll make you the marshal. So, that'll be interesting. I might... Mm. Uh, the Karagates are kind of like Mongolians. They ride around on horses and annoy the piss at you by flinging arrows at you. They're... They suck in sieges, but open battlefields, they're fucking awesome. Uh, Nords and Rodox do not get any cavalry units whatsoever. However, their units are badass. The Nords just are just... They run at you and throw axes at your face. That's pretty awesome. And Nords the, are awesome. And the Huskarls are just the best melee unit, hands down. Uh, Rodox sergeants are pretty good, but they're, they're, they're not Huskarls. Now, Rodox are interesting. They have the most hit points of all the the nations. Um, almost all of their units carry these big-ass board shields, which are great. Rodox are awesome in sieges, especially for attack. Like, Nords are also awesome for attacking, but 
if you want to limit your losses in the initial charge, uh, Rodox are great because the shields just block everything. Uh, even the crossbowmen uh, carry the shield, which is another thing about the Rodox. They use crossbows and not bows. Uh, the only other nation that does that, I think, is Swadia. Everybody else uses bows. But uh, the Nords are interesting because they have uh, archers and even their their Huskarls get uh, like throwing weapons, axes and stuff. I guess, is it just axes or do they throw like javelins and shit too? Hmm? Oh, the Nords? Yeah. Oh, they throw, they throw Jigaboo sticks. <laughs> so there, there you go. So... Um, they'll they'll hug a fucking tree branch at somebody if if they need to. <laughs> so personally, I'm okay with any of the kingdoms except for Vegas and the Serenids. The Serenids are actually pretty decent. Uh, their units are actually pretty heavily armored, but like they don't really have any like strengths otherwise. Like their archers and infantry are just meh, and their horsemen are actually pretty meh until they get the Mamelukes. Uh. Oh, the cover charmers. Yeah. <laughs> fucking idiot. I hate those guys. I'm going to ride across the entire map to get over there and raid his one village because yeah. I'm a dick. Yeah, the the Serenids for some reason will go out of their way to go all the way across the map to come raid your village and then just leave. <laughs> I don't know. It, it seems to be just them. I'm sure. I'm sure it's just coincidence, but it just seems like they just. Yeah. I'm th I'll go with Swadia. You came by caravan to Swadia, blah, 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 blah. Stuff happened. And, uh, somebody tries to pick a fight with you in town. Oh, boy. Uh, who, oh, wow. Who wants to taste the crossbow? That artillery beam breaks across their entire ship and does one damage to every room it hits. Hmm. I like beams. Oh god damn it, I missed. Oh, right in the dick. What'd you think of that? Oh. Oh, you knocked me on my ass. I don't think wooden shields are meant to hold up against an assault from a fucking mace. Yeah, this guy's a badass. This fu the beginning fight has never lasted this long. Oh, I cut his face off. Oh, oh, oh no! There, I got. I just stole his shield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too bad you don't get to keep it. Yeah, unfortunately. Hello. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive, at any rate. I'm not sure whether we can say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Although heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. Yeah, I'm probably not going to read all this. Is, this is talky talky. Merchant takes you inside, blah blah blah. Okay, explain proposition. Uh, we got to go find brigands because they stole my brother. Yeah. Uh, I'm interested. Let's go. Now we gotta go get five guys and uh, then come back here. Although, having, grabbing five more guys doesn't work. It's like I don't know if it's like, if it's like this for every nation, but no, anytime I do it for the Rodox, if I have a, uh, not five guys total, but you know, five other guys besides me, he's like, you don't have five guys yet. It's bullshit. Of course I have five guys. What the hell? Oh, hello, looters. Let me get these. Okay, you go from town to town. You can recruit volunteers. And one Swadian recruit. Thanks. Uh, and it's basically a big medieval sandbox game, basically. You go around, pick fights. Yeah, looters. It, now, they outnumber us uh, nine to two, but that's all right. Um, whoa, this is interesting terrain. Um, where the fuck are they? Handy dandy map. Okay, so they're going to be coming from up there. 
So you know what? Let's just wait for them. Ah, he's got a club. He's ready to take prisoners. Ooh. Oh, the cool thing about the Federation cruiser, you start with uh, one human, one rock, one mantis, and one NG. That's a pretty good crew. <laughs> yeah, and I just, like, sent the rock guy into one of the burning stations and got an automated reloader. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, they're, they're trying to come from down there, I think. Well, I see somebody. Oh, shit. Fire in the O2! Fire in the O2! Let's see if I can get a lucky shot. Nowhere close. Nowhere close. Uh, no, that, that wasn't too good either. Okay, let's ride forward because I'm an idiot. Let's rain death on our shirtless foes. Take that. No. Uh, hey, quit throwing rocks. Motherfuckers. Ow. My horse. By the way, folks, meet Stewpot the horse. Why Stewpot? Because if he doesn't perform, that's exactly where he's going to end up. These assholes are being Stewpot with rocks. Oh, he got shot in the dick. He's not liking life right now. <laughs> Stupac got shot in the dick? No, this bandit did. He threw a rock at my horse, so I shot him in the dick. With a crossbow. <laughs> Quite beating us with rocks. You know what? Charge. Oh, shit. O2's damaged. I didn't notice that. Uh-oh. Quick, before we're all brain damaged. Oh, oh, oh. Right in the gut. Oh, doink. Don't die, Swain Recruit. You could be my most badass warrior ever. Yeah, horses don't do well on terrain like this. Oh, I bet that helped, Swain Recruit. Yeah. Oh, I bet that hurt, too. Hey, where are you going, ass monkey? No, no escape. No escape. You killed my recruit, you motherfucker. <laughs> ah, it's a sneak attack. Oh, it's a trap. <laughs> Jump. Oh, I was wondering if I could land on them. Oh, damn. I found a hull beam, and that thing is helping me fuck these guys up hardcore. <laughs> damn it. So yeah, as you can see, this is going to be a long LP. This is probably one I'll never finish, even though I'm going to be doing this somewhat regularly. <laughs> nah. It, it, it's, it's worth doing just because I love this game so much. Oh, there we go. It's going to be a lot of me riding in circles, uh, killing looters. I'm going to try to avoid the mistake I usually make in the beginning. I'm like, okay... I know what I'm doing. I can just go ahead and build my big army now, at the very beginning, and, uh, yeah. But the problem is, looters run away. Or, you know, easy pickings run away. And that's no good. You want to pick as many fights as you can. Oh, that would have been an epic shot. But I fucking missed. Well, we won, but Swire and Recruit is dead. We did take three prisoners. I'm going to hold three prisoners all by my lonesome. Uh, let's see. Um, well, I do have a good hat. There we go. Falchion is better than... Well, you know, the reach is kind of shit. Eh. Ragged Nomad armor? Nah. See, I'm not explaining this game too much, but uh, it, you go around and kick the shit out of people. And you can try to found your own kingdom, or you can serve under a lord, yada, yada, yada. Do it however you want. You chicken shit bandits. 
Okay, now I gotta get five more dudes. Well, probably six more dudes. Beware of the dancing bear. <laughs> uh, okay, there's four recruits. Uh, looters! What do you want? Alright, cool. Non mountainous terrain. Uh, dun, 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 Okay. What's up, shop here? Oh, I bet that hurt. Hey, cool, we're throwing rocks. How'd I miss? Charge. How'd I miss with that? Terrible shot. Terrible. There you go. <coughs> go, my swatty and rock throwers. I will say the Federation Cruiser definitely looks interesting. It's got an interesting layout. Uh, yeah. Looks like a giant penis. <laughs> and, I don't know. The, yeah, it just... It, it's weird. Do we want? No, we haven't won. One of them's trying to escape. I'm going to get lucky and get a Zoltan on my crew. I haven't had a Zoltan yet. They're pretty nice because they power whatever system they're manning. Yeah. Little energy fuckers. Although, of course, they get snuffed out real easy. Ah, oh, fuck. He got away. <coughs> Victory shot! Alright, two kills. Anytime you wound people, you can take them as prisoners, as long as you have room. Routed <laughs> means they escaped. Yada, yada. Well, take I found another burning station. Oh, got yeah? a repair arm for sending the rock man in there. Hmm. Swaya recruits will become Swaya militia. Now they don't suck as much. So, depending on your nation, the branching can sometimes work a little differently. Like uh, so most nations, I believe you have to just take the first upgrade they give you. But the Rodox, uh, as soon as they get their first level, they can already start becoming archer or dedicated archers or dedicated uh, footmen. So it looks like we have to wait another level. But that's okay. Uh, stuff, 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 stuff. In case you folks are wondering why I'm not using my sword too much, one, I'm not a big fan of sword on horseback. I prefer something with more reach. And two, it's fun riding circles around assholes and shooting them with a crossbow. Keeping it real. Uh... Let's go and get the point of charisma over with. I want um, another prisoner management. That sounds good. Uh, you can try and recruit prisoners to your uh, army. Uh, most of the time, though, they'll they'll run away at some point. Uh, but if you have a high leadership skill, there's a much greater chance of them sticking around. And, yeah, prisoners you liberate will join your army permanently if you so desire. You still gotta pay them and everything, but, you know. At least there's no upfront fee. More crossbow. Now, for the most part, I'm gonna be using... Crossbow and pole arm, although I'm going to be mixing in uh, two handed also. Let's go over to this town, get some more folks. And here's the boring part the travel. Recruit volunteers. Four swine recruits. We have plenty of people now. Let's go back to what's his face. 
Also, the cool part of being in Swania is I can go to either side of me and recruit either recruit either Nord troops or Rodok troops, which is pretty neat. So I look like both troops quite well. Right now, the early thought is to have uh, Swanian knights, which are like the best knights in the game. Uh, the Nord Huskarls, which will be you know my my shock troops, my infantry, and I'll have the Rodok crossbowmen because one crossbows have much better armor piercing capability, and the Rodok crossbowmen have fucking big ass shields, so that's nice too. And the tavern. There's the merchant. Uh, d mercenaries are a lot more reasonable in Fire and Sword. Don't bother with them in this game unless you're absolutely desperate. They're expensive to buy in the first place and they're expensive to maintain. <sighs> you're, you're much better off just going from town to town, recruiting people and leveling, leveling them up. Yada yada. Much better off. Is there anybody upstairs? Like a hero? Ah, so oh, here's Ferentis. Hello, Ferentis. I'm blah, 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 blah. This guy was a bandit. He did lots of bad things. And now he thinks he needs to find a way to redeem himself or whatever. So I'm like, yay, you can come join us. We certainly don't loot villages and stuff like that. We're good people. Which is a totally bogus lie. For all intents and purposes, we are fucking Mongolians. Goddamn Mongolian, get away from my shitty wall! <laughs> That's pretty much how it's gonna go. We're gonna be attacking villages left and right until I no longer need to. Once I have my own town, I won't have to. I can focus on, you know, leaving the towns alone. And. Yeah. Hello, Merchant of Priven. I shall hunt the bandits. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see. Exit out. Party. Francis will move you up. Uh, hero units cannot be killed. They can be knocked out in battle, but they'll eventually heal back up afterwards. And um, they'll level up with you. Uh, you can customize their equipment. And if you have your own kingdom, you can make them vassals, and they will run around gather their own troops and go attack people, yada yada, it's pretty cool. There's really a lot to this game. Let me see your equipment. Francis here is okay all around, for the most part. He's a pretty decent fighter. Pretty good hit points. He's got good strength and agility. Uh, athletic, shield, he's got, he's got all that good stuff. And he can. he's a decent, decent uh, horseman too. Uh, 105 in every weapon skill. He, he, he's a pretty good fighter. Uh, let's see. What to give you? I don't have a shield. At least not a shield I can give you. Uh, what's the best helmet I got? Four. How's that? Okay, 14, 6. Um, this is better. Take that. You can be a fucking bandit. Uh, I like your sword better than my sword, so I'm taking your sword. Here, have a falchion. Um, uh, rocks. You can have some rocks. Uh, you have a falchion. Uh, let's give you a hatchet. No, let's give you a, a club too, so you can knock people out. If I so desire. Remind. Okay, now our quest is to go look for fucking stupid bandits outside of town, and we know, here they are. What you want? Uh, oh, Come on, uh, catch a ride uh, with Scooter Man! <laughs> uh, just when I thought I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> uh, tell me, keep your prisoners, bandit scum! Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. I am Angus Khan. Ah, uh, Angus Khan. Uh-huh. 
The half Scottish descendant of Genghis Khan. It's like way, 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 way down the line. Somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, I can't form rows in this one. Just hold this position. What am I even doing this? This is like a lot of preparation for a bunch of bands who we're just going to kick the shit out of. You're like fading out a lot. I am? Yeah, every now and again. I wonder if it's... I kind of have my mic set out a little bit. Hmm. Let me know if it happens again. Where, hmm. Well, while I'm waiting for these stupid bands to show up, I can fiddle around with the mic, I guess. Oh! Uh, we're apparently already shooting them. Uh, ooh! The Swati and Militia have crossbows, apparently. Where are they? Oh, hello! Oh, they're trying to be fucking sneaky. Using the hills as armor. Oh, wow! I can't believe I landed that shot. Arched over a hill to a target I couldn't see. Yeah, you're breaking up really weird, Mike. Uh, I wonder if it's... I probably have a shitty connection right now or something. It's probably more along... At least I hope it's more Skype. Otherwise, I have a problem. Ow. Uh, charge. Doink. Take that. Whoops! I hit a friendly in the head, apparently. Yar, yar. All right. Now this asshole says, "Spare me, and I'll tell you stuff." Okay, so we're gonna spare them, and and uh, we're gonna take these assholes hostage. Sell them into slavery. Yes, you, you do find out. Well, in Fire and Sword, they're called slave brokers. Well, I think they're slave brokers and ransom brokers. And this one is just ransom brokers. But, yeah, you can basically sell your prisoners. Okay. Uh, let's take this, this. That, 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 that. Okay, um... Uh, just a second, just a second. Okay, okay. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and stop the recording for now. I'm going to check and see how this turned out. It's been about an hour, maybe. Oh, fuck, I don't know. It's probably actually less than that. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah. You were just breaking up there at the end for really for some reason. Am I okay now? Hmm. I'll take six missiles. Okay. Uh, Alright, be right back, folks.